This is a video I'm going to make. Uh, basically what we're doing for today is I'm going to redo this project that I did before, which is a pop can hot air balloon. And I'm going to show you how to replicate what I did over here since we're redoing it uh, with this can over here. And we're going to need scissors. We're going to need super glue, whether it's uh, the brush kind um, or the nozzle, which this is a dual one. We're also going to need a clothespin just to kind of hold pieces together. And um, make sure that we have protection for our hands. So I'm going to go ahead and get me some gloves. So we're going to put what looks like a Powder 3 a synthetic vinyl exam gloves. And we're going to... Alright, so after you get your protection on, here's what you're going to do. Is you're going to puncture a hole about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. And then, let me just put this off to the side real quick. And we're going to use the bottom part to do so. So we're going to go ahead and puncture it. And it's better to kind of go down towards the table. And then we're going to start cutting all the way around. The can. And don't mind if it's pretty rough right now. We're going to clean it up later. I'm just going to cut the bottom off. We're going to save this to the side because we're going to use that for our bucket. And what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of going on the outside like we did before, we're going to cut from the inside going in. So that way we get a very clean edge going all the way around. I made it kind of mostly about what you're going to do is that after you cut the bottom off, you're going to make a cut all the way to the rim. So where this metal part is right here, you're going to cut all the way to the rim doing one cut so far. to the top, like so. So notice how it's like close to it. And if you can't get really up there, you might need to pull back a little bit and then just do it a little bit at a time because there is that edge right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go from this cut, we're going to go about 180 degrees, so, so right directly across from our previous cut down here. We're going to go ahead and do it on the opposite side, doing the same thing. Notice how it's two big pieces. So two big pieces. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut from between. So we have these two cuts right here. So where we cut from before and directly across, we're going to cut as far as halfway on this piece and halfway from here to here, right on this side. So we're going to make an incision right there. So halfway on this side. So we have four almost equal pieces. And then directly from that, right across the way. So 
yeah, you're going to want to take your time with this. And then once you get like four equal pieces, basically the objective of this is uh, we're just taking each individual piece that we do have at this point and then cutting it in half all the way to the point where we have about close to uh, 16 individual pieces. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to fast forward this so you can see the process too. And so now we have about eight. Let's go ahead and do uh, another half on each of these strands and then we're all good to go from there. All right, so here's where we're at. We have about 16 individual strands. And then here's what we're gonna do. In order to get that poof at the top, um, since I'm fixing this, um, doing the new poof, we're just going to fray these out kind of like it's a flower. And just kind of fray them out a bit. You can use the palm of your other hand just to kind of create this nice curve. Now it's mostly flattened out. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the poof right at the top. We're gonna start with two individual strands. Uh, we'll start with these two. And this is where the super glue is gonna come into play. We're gonna put our scissors away because we're not gonna need that at the moment. And we'll hold off on the bottom part. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our super glue and two of these strands. So the goal of it with the strands is you want to make it to where the bottom kind of lines up a little bit, but you want them to cross over. Here, I'll show you really closely real quick. So you want them to just go over just a little bit because our end goal is to make sure that by the end of it, we have this nice big open bottom uh, for, our, for our hot air balloon. So we don't wanna go over too much or cross over like that. So we're just gonna go over just like a little bit like so. And that's all that you're, that you're practically doing is just going over just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our super glue we're gonna use the brush, because with super glue you wanna do a little bit of a film. So we're gonna take a little bit of where we're going to attach our pieces, make sure you close it. And we're gonna overlap to where the top of these, uh, towards the opening of the can, um, are mostly straightened. And we're going to just overlap them just a little bit kind of clipping them right about there. And we're gonna take our clip and we're gonna clip it on like so. So that way we have a nice... Oh, don't let your gloves get stuck. But yeah, we will have a nice hold. And you wanna have it hold with the clip for about close to about a few seconds, so like five to seven seconds. And this will give it a nice bonding time for for when you need to let it go. And then after about five or seven seconds, we're gonna go ahead and just gently wiggle this off as well as pushing these down. So that way we have that nice nice bond right there on our two strips. All right. And so every time when we, when we go around the can, we're going to do that same exact thing, 
is where we're going to make it mostly kind of parallel with where it connects at the top. And we're going to connect it just slightly a bit over to where Tori had it before. So it looks like we have to glue it right about there. So I'm going to take my super glue. And I'm going to go ahead and apply just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. I'm going to take my other strand. I'm going to go ahead and position it. About right there, where it has a little overlap. I'm going to take my clothespin and then just pop it on quickly with my fingers, just make sure the top of it is mostly secure. I'm going to have it hold for about a few seconds. Let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. There we go. Like five or seven seconds. Okay, that should be enough time. And we're just gonna wiggle it off a little bit as we pull, push this together. And then that'll give us a nice bond for the next strand. Oh, shoot. Still a little sticky. All right. So as you can see, it's just only a, just a small little overlap. And you're gonna do this for each individual one as you overlap this one, then the next one, and the next one. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this so that way you can see the process in a little bit of a faster pace. So we have our balloon part mostly finished. I want to show you what to do with the bottom part. So let's go and get our bottom piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to clean this part right here off. So we're just left with the silver. So we're just going to go in inside like we did last time. Yep, so that way all that we're left with is just the 
outer ring. Alright. Bottom part. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to cut into this piece by fourths. So the best way that I've learned is that going from bottom up, because it's going to make the scissors cut a little better. And you want to take your time with this, because once it gets in the middle, it'll go very fast. And you want to cut all the way to about right there. So, about close to right, right about there. Up there. Yep. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another cut all the way across about the same distance. And you wanna take your time, like I said, because you don't want to go all the way in. I like right about there. And then we're going to go, after I make those cuts, we're going to go ahead and do cut down to there and to there. So take your time with this because you don't want to bend it in too much. Okay. side like so. Like about so. Yep. Now I know this looks a little too much in, but that's still okay because we can still make a good a good bottom piece. So what we're gonna do is with our cuts, we're going to where we cut up to, we're gonna do show up closer to the camera. So we're going to do about like a quarter inch over and then cut all the way over where we just cut it. So that way we have a nice big gap. Like so. We're going to do that the same way all the way around. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you what to do. So, essentially, what we wanna do is we wanna make sort of like this bent in shape where we have close to about a square. So, we're gonna bend it. Let's see which way. So, we're gonna bend it this direction with one side. We're going to bend this closer to this as well. So that way, all the way around, we have like this square that we're making. We need to bend the shapes even more in so that way the corners are touching. Um, and you can do that. You want to use both your fingers so that way you get a good, good feel for it. And then you have yourself a little basket going all the way around. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut off the excess that we have on each side. That way, all you have just left is just a little basket. Now, I would recommend super glue. With, now, normally, before I tried super glue with the little edges together, but what I found is that's actually 
pretty difficult to do a super glue. So with your basket, you're gonna get a hot glue gun. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. A few moments later. So I forgot to record this part. So I just want to show you how to be able to do it uh, with the glue gun. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a little corner and you're going to fix it up with a bit of hot glue. And you're going to go on the opposite side, keeping that corner in place. And you're going to solidify it like so on the inside. So you have a really nice bond on both sides. And you're gonna do the same thing for the other corners. So on the outside first, and on the inside. Like so. Do this corner since it's pretty. pretty angled a little bit. As it's drying up, you can go around it, get the stringy stuff off, just as for craftsmanship purposes. So that way, we can give it a cleaner look. And there you have it. It's mostly cleaned up. Now we're back to our little bucket thing. And uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bucket thing and find a way to be able to put it with the rest of our hot air balloon. So here's the method that I know. So we take like this little bit of string that we have here. I cut excess amount of string uh, just because of the fact that I wanna make sure that I get enough to work with. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the little rounded edge at the bottom. We're gonna choose a side on one of these sides. So, on one of these sides. And we're just gonna kinda tuck it in to where we wanna glue it. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna put hot air, or not hot air, <laughs> hot glue right there. So, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll move the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so put some hot glue like so. We want to make sure that it kind of submerges the string in because we want to make sure it has a good hold. Right, I'll show you what it looks like so you know what we're working with. So yeah, it's gonna be submerged in the hot glue. So as it dries, that's what's going to keep your sides uh, going up. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some of the excess off the string. And then we're going to kind of cut off about like halfway. So, like about there. Then we're gonna use one of these uh, to tie it up so that way we can be able to do it on the opposite side. So we did it on one side right here. So we're gonna flip it over to the very opposite side and we're gonna put a string right in there. We're gonna take our string, and we're gonna go about, take our ends, have them meet together, so we have a, 
the balance of the string. And we're gonna take their end right here and we're gonna submerge it right in the crevice, right across from where we had our last one. So, I can go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna hot glue, like so. When you're hot gluing, you wanna go in one direction. There you go. All right, and that should, once it solidifies, give us our four areas to where we can be able to put it through our actual can. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to feed our string through the bottom of the hot air balloon, through the opening on the other end, and we're just gonna feed it right on through. basket and we're gonna just gonna leave a little excess towards the bottom kind of like close to about that much in length and then what we're gonna do is towards the top keeping that length we're going to prop up or actually, better yet, we're going to take the little tab underneath, we're going to push it back, and we're going to take our little tab, lift it up, and hopefully it won't break. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to hot glue it right at the tip, right here. Okay. We're gonna wrap the string around it so that way it'll hold it in place. Like so. And if it starts to, starts to loosen up, right at the connection there. Um, then what you can do is you can take some more hot glue and then, oh, I guess it did broke. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your tab. Let's see here. And I guess you can flip it upside down, like so, to where it still keeps where you glued it, right in the center. So if it breaks and whatnot, that's what you can do. So we're gonna hot glue it like so. So originally it was like this, where we had it. So originally it was like this. Since it broke, we're just going to flip it upside down. So the top end is still at the mouth area. And we're gonna hot glue it right here. Kinda like so, where there's a little bit of glue. And we're gonna put it right over the top, like so. And this should give it a nice hold. be as close to the center as possible. So it's still close in the center. All right. And then we're gonna make, let's see here. 
since now you have your hot air balloon <laughs> figure, uh, we're going to go ahead. And just double check and make sure everything's going accordingly. We're going to tie it all together right here so we have a good solid knot. So we're going to go ahead and kind of twist it. This makes it easy to kind of make a loop and not have it go undone. And we're going to go ahead and feed it back through like so with our string. We're going to feed our string through. So, we should have a really good solid knot. Yeah, like so. So now, we should have enough string to hang it. We're gonna cut the excess string right here, just about a little bit. So, at least the one that was sticking out before. And there we have it. We have ourselves a hot air balloon. Alright, thanks for watching.